show which is right behind me now so I'm looking forward to having a good saunter around here today and seeing what's on offer whether or not I'm gonna buy anything or not depends on whether or not I get a pass from my other half it's unlikely but I'm not registered I wasn't expected to come here so better go and buy a ticket I'll see you guys shortly Snake's got her ticket. Hers was free. Mine was £18. I'm not quite sure how that works. If you haven't been to the photography show, then it's pretty much a must visit. All of the major manufacturers are represented, as well as a lot of the accessory companies, and there's some great deals to be had. Drones and aerial imaging was still a hot topic at this year's show, particularly after DJI had bought out Hasselblad. Some really fantastic images on display. Well, it's certainly not as busy as it was last year, and I think part of that is down to the fact it's been snowing like hell all over the place. So with all of the snow, I think it's really put a lot of people off. And it is a Sunday, I'm told it was very busy here yesterday. Just behind me, it's Ben Road. And I actually want to take a look at some of these tripods whilst I'm here and see what they are all about. So I'm going to have to disappear off for five minutes and go and have a browse at a couple of these whilst I'm on it. So I'm just here on the Benro stand and what I'm doing is having a look at this Travel Slim carbon fibre which is incredibly compact and folds down to about 12 inches in length when it's done. And I'm actually quite impressed by it. I am looking for something like this for myself or when we are out landscape vlogging. So it'll be interesting to uh, take a look at this product. It has a maximum load capability of around 4 kilos which is enough actually to stick decent sized digital SLR and also a wider angle 2470 pro level lens on not what I'm going to do with it I'm going to put a 200d on it if I buy this one um, however definitely definitely worth a little bit of consideration if you're looking for a compact lightweight tripod I need a beer after all that <laughs> so I'm here taking a look at the Canon M50. Now, when this was first announced, I actually got a press release through and I was quite interested by this camera. As one of Canon's mirrorless cameras, it's interesting to see 4K appearing on there for the first time. I was quite excited by that prospect. And also at the same time, it still has the dual pixel autofocus, which for me is still the best autofocus system for digital SLR or mirrorless video use out of any of the systems that I've used. It's more reliable than pretty much every other manufacturer's video autofocus system out there. The way it works, I just love it, you know, so I'm not going to get overly excited about it. However, the biggest problem with this camera is, as I anticipated from the press release, it will not film 4K and use the dual pixel autofocus, which is a little bit of a shame, certainly from a vlogging or an episode perspective, simply because it's probably one of the main reasons to buy it. Now, I've had this argument with quite a few of the other landscape photography vloggers in the past few weeks when we've been out and about. Most of those guys, you know, quite honestly, they don't care about the 4K filming and a lot of people are probably going to buy this camera. I may well buy one myself. It's just niggling away at me a little bit. I'm using the 200D to film this, which I bought simply to drop the weight. So, yeah, if you can save weight as a fat, bald Yorkshire lad, then any weight saving is a good idea. Of course, I could always go to the gym, stop drinking Guinness, and stop eating lots of Indian on a weekend. But unfortunately, it's not gonna happen. See you guys in a little while. Well, after trailing around here for the past couple of hours, it's pretty much getting to the stage now where I have to get some food. Unfortunately, food court is somewhere just behind me, and I could be getting very tempted to go and indulge. There's also weather spoons, and I really fancy a chili dog. You've got appendicitis. Or a hernia. You've got a hernia. <laughs> Never. <laughs> a gonorrhea. <laughs> Slight difference between a hernia and gonorrhea, I think. But randomly enough, you know, either of those are perfectly possible, so it's pretty exciting. 
Hope it's not got a rick, that means I might have got it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. What do you want me to say? Interesting. <laughs> so, I'm just testing out the audio on the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. It's quite a mouthful, and again, it is quite a sizable microphone. I've got the mid range boost activated on this, so hopefully, my voice sounds like, um, like Morgan Freeman, like a Yorkshire. Morgan Freeman, or maybe a Mr. David Attenborough. Those kind of soft Yorkshire dulcet tones that make you think of Tetley's Bitter. Anyway, on the note of Tetley's Bitter, we're off to Weatherspoons for a beer, yeah? Game on. Okay guys, so I'm here and I'm on the Nisi stand and I'm looking at the new S5 system which is a 150mm system which is designed for the larger filters. It also has an integrated rotating circular polarizer which is designed to reduce any chance of vignetting on wider angle lenses such as the 14mm lenses from the likes of Canon and Nikon and uh, yeah this looks like a really interesting piece of kit i've not owned nisi before however i have actually sampled one of their kits and played around with it i was actually quite impressed so i'm gonna take a close look at this uh, and see whether or not it's something that i want to uh, want to buy So, you may wonder why I'm rushing out of the photography show. There's only one reason that drags me away from cameras and photography. That's food and beer. So at this moment in time, I'm heading to Weatherspoons. At which point I'm going to indulge in one of my famous NEC chilli dogs, which is about my favourite piece of food that you can get at the NEC by some margin. It's on the table and it's waiting for me. So I'd better get a move on. At the same time, let me just get a bit of a focus. At the same time as the photography show is on, ComCon is on as well. So there's some interesting characters. As you can see. It's pretty awesome. So there are some fantastic costumes on display all over the place. Snake's just been engaging with them and really enjoying it, so we've got to go down the ramp. We're just coming down the ramp and back to the photography show. Snake's here, she's loving it. Oh, she's gone. This is one single image. What a lot of people do when they shoot Astro is they'll shoot the sky and then they'll shoot their foreground. And the reason for that is because they're just limited by their camera's dynamic range and what it can pick up. This is taken on a D850, one single image, and it has a dynamic range to be able to lift the shadows in the foreground, but still retain the lovely detail in the highlights of the Milky Way, okay? And this is something that will go through all of our camera sets as well. Dynamic range is something that we're really well known for. I am your father. Well, that 
that's pretty much it for the photography show this year and I've got to say it's not been as exciting as it was last year and I'm wondering if that's partly down to the fact that the weather has made it a really quiet Sunday physically at Birmingham. Lots of snow on the roads. I haven't bought anything which is pretty good because my bank manager will certainly be happy with that so we're about to head. Head? Head? You know, I can't speak, I need a drink. So we're about to head off home and I'm going to see you guys next time. Please do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video. Jumping onto this bus and managing to find our cart, which could be somewhere in the middle of nowhere. God knows what the hell's going on.